Hey everyone, this is Major Batman here at Link Hero Studios, here to show off a new tool that I found using generative AI to create skyboxes that can be leveraged in your own games in Unity. Recreate your own virtual masterpiece, your own VR worlds, your own pleasant, serene environments using Blockade Lab Skybox AI. So let's get started. So first, you want to pick a masterpiece here. This gives you an idea of what you want to select for your own game world. So perhaps you just want a really cool sky, maybe you want a city landscape. So let's start with something like this. So this is a retro fantasy model. It says prismatic oil slick lake surrounded by black sand beaches and distant onyx basalt columns, shimmering pools of oil with reflective iridescent patterns. I like a lot of this. Um, how about we change it to maybe more of a, let's add the northern lights and maybe some moons in the sky. And perhaps let's do some, um, maybe some ice um, instead of this onyx. And I think that'll do it. Let's click generate. So this is the result. You have some ice mountains. You have the black sand nearby. Some reflections that look kind of weird. We have kind of a wormhole type thing up up above and then kind of a vortex thing that sort of looks like Jupiter um, it's pretty neat all things considered so this is how we're going to do it we're going to click download now download does seem to be only available in the paid tiers for $12 a month you have the ability to download these options at the highest tier I believe which is $60 you're able to recreate this as a 3d mesh so for this, you want to download the Equa Rectangular JPEG. You can also download the cube map if you want, um, but uh, I believe this works rather well. So I'm going to save it to this folder, click save, and I'm going to open up a Unity scene. So this is something I've used for Apocalypse Wasteland, which I believe was my last video. And in order to create this, we're just going to drag and drop this into Unity here. And this creates this the image. It's now in here. The first thing we'll do is go up to the texture shape in the top right, change the texture shape to cube. We're going to deselect generate mint maps and we're going to turn off the compression and click apply. So now it's a circle thing well, with the image on the inside, which is kind of neat. Now that the texture is set up correctly, we want to create a material and we can name this whatever we want, but let's just do skybox oil or something similar and you can create whatever you would like. Now for the shader, we want to select skybox and click cube map. So here, if you want, if you did select six sided, you could select six sided and you get six options to input each of the separate images, but the cube map works for what we are doing. And we have this cube map here and select the only one in existence. And we can set up the rotation if we want, but I think it's okay where it is. Now, in order to affect the actual game, we want to go to Window, Rendering, Lighting, and we're given this new lighting box. We'll click Environment tab, and we'll select the material we just created. Then this now uses the light box in the game. And so if we click Play, we can now walk around and see our newly created cube map in a working game which is pretty, pretty cool. And I think worth it. So that's how you leverage this Skybox AI to quickly create and implement a Skybox of your choice in game. So you can go and play with the Skyboxes and see if you like a result of your liking. You're given 15 generations per month with just a regular free account. However, if you pay, which I I decided to pay, I get a 100 generations and I get CC by licensing, which is pretty reasonable considering all I had to do is attribute back to uh, Blockade Labs. Now, if you do pay 24 months, it does seem like you get a little over twice as many generations per month and you're now given commercial licensing. And then at the Techno Wizard level, which they consider it the best value, um, the big thing is this view and export 3D meshes, which might be fun and interesting to, to, to mess around with 
uh, as time goes on. If you enjoyed creating custom skyboxes or exploring how to enhance your game game environments with generative AI, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment below with your ideas or what you'd like to see next. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Link Hero Studios so you don't miss out on my upcoming videos. Until next time, this is Major Batman signing off. Keep creating.